It was the week of Thanksgiving, and behind every train, plane, and car, there was someone watching, watching, inspecting, and watching, checking, and watching at every airport near and far. All the bags were packed and ready to be checked and inspected. Checked and inspected and scanned and checked and radiated and checked again. All through that airport system this Thanksgiving they'd be checked over and over again and checked and checked again. The people too weren't forgotten. They were being watched carefully. Papers, baggage purses, and persons inside and out. Walk through the scanners without even a pout. Every nook and cranny checked and inspected. Hey, who's that person? Checked and watched closely, closely watched, under and over, so that all could travel safely through the night. Actually, this isn't a bedtime story that's poorly written. It's just a children's book. Uh, it's in Spanish, actually. I'm not sure if there's an English version. Uh, looks like it's actually a Spanish publisher, but just a sign of the times indoctrinating children clearly in this pop-up book meant for very young ones about how airports and travel are supposed to work. No mention of rights, just a very thorough showing that popping up on every page is some kind of security check, something that they have to submit to, show IDs, papers, demonstrate that they're not a threat, allow the things to be inspected. Let's have another check please, sir. Get ready, always show your ID before your physical person search, but be happy about it. Make sure you get a smile during the travel. It's pretty sick if you ask me just how indoctrinated we are into the supposed security culture when they've demonstrated again and again they cannot catch terrorists. They cannot keep us safe. But they just have this entire culture of inspecting and presuming people to be guilty until proven innocent. But who watches the watchers? Those who do all that inspecting, that storybook protecting. Well, here's a story about how Congress should abolish the TSA based on the findings of the GAO, one of the somewhat real watchdogs that we have. They've done a look at the TSA and the things they've accomplished and not accomplished and found that it would definitely be best to scrap the TSA altogether and they're recommending turning it over to private security. I think that has its pitfalls as well, but certainly this nationalized security in the hands of a, basically a goon squad violating our rights is atrocious and I don't think they should mandate that people go through these checkpoints. There's no proof that they can do anything. In fact, they found that specifically their spot program, those observing officers, they've spent $200 million on their program and they found that they really probably couldn't even catch a terrorist. They have no scientifically validated evidence for doing things like watching people's facial expressions. And here they're talking about in CNS News how the TSA spent $900 million on behavior detection officers who detected zero terrorists. That's right, the TSA has never caught, never stopped a single terrorist. What they have done is condition people. Here's the union proposing that they arm TSA officers at every checkpoint. Of course, in the wake of the TSA officer who was shot, that's definitely expected. A lot of people have been warning that arming the TSA has been on the agenda for some time. 